Okay, that's Hello, hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, my son, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, Valeli. Welcome. No me vaya a preguntar, teacher. Oiga, no me vaya a preguntar. <laughs> Ahorita estoy bien drogada. No sé ni qué diablo le puedo contestar. <laughs> oh, really? Tell me why, Adeli. Are you sick? Are you sick? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear about his name. Hello, Bridget. Look at that. I yeah, love the way you, you I love you your decoration, you? Bridget. Christmas. Yes, yeah. I love. Yeah, she's ready. She's ready. Absolutely. We have a Pokemon camera. Oh, that's very good, Bridget. I love it. That's fantastic. Oh, look at that thing. It's amazing. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's like se acabó el carnaval San Miguel, right? Then you switch Christmas. It's like it's the... hoy viene el emocionante con el chaparrastique. <laughs> <laughs> Eso es bonito. Yeah, it looks very nice, Bridget. Fantastic. Oh, look at that, people. Look at that. Also, Santiago, I'm seeing like you have like a, a Christmas tree behind. Good evening. You, right? Good evening, oh, guys. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, good evening, Santiago. You have a Christmas tree behind you, right? Yes, yes. a little Christmas tree. Yeah, that's fantastic. Look at that. Dollar City, no? Dollar City. <laughs> no fire. No fire. No fire. No fire. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. It's wonderful. It's nice to have you one more time, everybody. And I hope everybody is okay at home and healthy, you know, right? And, and just be ready. Okay, we will continue working on this content. Uh, which is not how difficult in a way, right? English. Uh, I do need to change my name. Just give me a minute. Um, so we can have a little bit more practice on this one. Okay. Uh, so it's it's nice to have you, Anna Cecilia. Hello, Anna. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How about so, you? Oh, where 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 are you from? I'm good, thank you. Where are you from, Anna Cecilia? I'm from San Salvador. Oh, really? Sounds pretty good. Thank you. Yes. What is something that you love about San Salvador? So you can mm -hmm. say people from San Miguel or from La Union, right? Oh, listen, I love San Salvador because. Mm -hmm. uh, I love San Salvador, the parts and, and the mall. <laughs> okay. So you like buying things, right? Yeah. What is your favorite mall? Let's say we have different malls here in El Salvador. In San Salvador, sorry, what is your favorite one? The one that you go once in a while? Uh, uh, my favorite mall is Las Cascadas. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that thing? Las Cascadas, oh. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's a long... Uh, yeah, but that, that is in Santa Tecla or is it in San Salvador? La Libertad. La yeah, Libertad. Yeah. <laughs> Ciudad, todavía está Ciudad Merleot. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Meliot is in Santa Tecla. Yes, that's what I thought. So I was thinking, is that in San Salvador or Santa Tecla? It's valid, teacher. It's valid. <laughs> it's quite the same. It's quite sí, the same. Es ¿Qué se me hace que son en, la, en Prima Moda, en, ahí en la Gran Vía, verdad? What about Shopping Center? What about Shopping Center? Okay. Is that... <laughs> no? Okay. What about that, Cesar? What about Shopping Center? What do you think about that 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 thing? What? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, <laughs> you can have acetaminophen. Okay. Uh, oh. I'm sorry to hear that. That's <laughs> not. Who acetaminophen? <laughs> no, I don't use the acetaminophen. I'm sorry. No, yeah. no, no, that's not. Oh, my God, Oritzina. <laughs> eh, yo tomo a veces Codofen Forte, Ava Migran y eh, Corona. Y, otro, y, ahí no. <laughs> <laughs> y Corona. <laughs> I, I love the way like, everybody's trying to. Coffee one piquete. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> ah, Coca-Cola con piquetes. Oh, con piquetes, that, right? <laughs> that makes sense, right? <laughs> Yeah, para que te ayude a la cabeza, pues, that, that's the meaning of sorry, it. Teacher. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope you get better soon. 
Okay, because okay. that's okay. Thanks. That's not good. Okay, um, let me show you the material really quick so we can um, get working. Yesterday we started with a topic which is about uh, the time contrast, right? We were working with time contrast about past, present, and future. Um, we couldn't like um, uh, do the exercise because of the time, and I hope that we can do it those today. Okay, so we can have a little bit uh, practice on, on, on that part because it's on how it's we need practice on uh, this one. And I love when you participate so I can hear the way you speak. And also you can have the chance to put in practice your English, right? This is gonna be uh, for today's class. Again, we're working with Back to the Future uh, and this is class number 10. This is class number 10. Emerson, thank you so much. And also Marvin, thank you so much for letting me know that information. I got it here. We have Did Marvin. You Hoy recibimos un mensaje que tiene al que por qué no lo enviaron no sé. Oh, there es is a person, there is a, a person that is in charge of each group, each module, right? So this person is just in charge just for you to let you know, like, or uh, just to send you like uh, information so you remember like uh, the the way this module works. You know what I mean? Like, if you gotta do the exercises and the different stuff that you have available in, in the platform. So that's why they, they send you those kind of information, just for you to remember that you need to do these different parts in this module. If you did it already, so that's, you know, just forget about it, right? But it's not like, it's just for you to remember, like, uh, the things that you need to do. And also, like, um, I don't know, the, the, the things that you got to do in this module. So you can accomplish the, your goal that is like uh, getting like different, I don't know, steps, like for example, 80% of the things or like you need to uh, attend classes or sometimes turn off your, your, your camera, right? Solo para recordarles eh, ese tipo de cosas. That's why they send you those messages. Okay, um, Adelie. ¿Y yeah. cómo vamos todos con, lo, con el, la plataforma para ver si... Eh... Hay que ayudarnos entre algunos o qué? Well, in, in that one, I, I apologize because I don't, I don't have that information. You know what I mean? It's like, um, they, ellos le van a recordar a usted, en el caso de usted vaya atrasado, le envíen, creo que le envíen un mensaje personalmente a, a cada okay. uno. Bueno, si alguien necesita ayuda, ahí estamos en el WhatsApp. That's wonderful. Also, I saw your messages. Yeah, uh, I'm checking your messages and, and I love the way you help your classmates, which is fantastic. Yeah, eh, a veces no me dan chance ni de contestar, entonces de repente somebody asks something and then uh, your classmate, right, uh, help you with that, which is great. Yeah, very good, great job. Uh, I will take the attendance, give me a minute because I need to get your um, attendance list. Okay, the usual suspect, I have them here, okay. Um, Oh, let me see, we have November, we have the Tuesday 29th. Aleli, you're here, right? Present okay. teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you so much. Uh, Ana Cecilia de Romero de Dominguez. Good evening teacher, present. Good evening. And welcome. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. No, she's absent. Okay. Um, Bridget, you're here, right, Bridget? I hear teacher. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Cesar. Sorry I hear for the headache. Um, Edith. Uh, Edith, the, Edith Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm sorry. I missed the name. Okay. Um, Eduardo. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I am here. What's your name? I have Janira Mendoza. I had trouble for entry. I I didn't find the the ID. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you so I'm much. I'm Janira. I'm Janira Mendoza. Thank you, Janita. I got your I got your attendance here. Thank you so much. Elvis. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. 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 Good
Teacher, good evening. Oh, I'm Present. sorry. That's, that's you, Eduardo? Yes, teacher. Here I yes, because I got you here. Thank you so much. Because you sent me a message in the chat. Wonderful. Emerson. Hello, Emerson. Present. Hello. Wonderful. Um, Stephanie, Jamile, Aparicio. I'm, I'm here. Wonderful. Fatima, Asensio. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Jaime Alberto Aldana. I'm here to chair. Good evening. Wonderful. Um, Jose Eyarbin. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Nice to have you one more time, Jose. Um, Karen. Present. Perfect. Um, Laura Arce. Present, teacher. Wonderful, Laura. Thank you so much. Um, Marvin, you're here by Marvin. Thank you so much. Um, Miguel Quintanilla, Tejada. Present, teacher. Present. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Um, Morena. Guadalupe. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, Morena. Um, Oscar. Present, teacher. Perfect, Oscar. Raquel. Arely Santos. Present, teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Uh, Santiago Chavez. Aquí, teacher. Perfect. And also you, uh, Vilma. Hello, Vilma. No, she is in here. Let me check some names here. Give me a minute. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to show you one more time the video about the grammar context so you can remember a little bit of the thing from yesterday, and then we can have a short discussion about the grammar context. <laughs> Okay, now let's listen and watch. If you don't see very well the video, let me know any time so I can like um, move to the next thing. Okay. ¿Qué pasó con esta cosa? Oh, Jesus. Give me a break. Sorry. Esta cosa no me deja compartir desde el otro. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. No. No, 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 no. Okay, close this one. Okay. Let me see if I can show you a video. Here we go. Oh, this one is. If you don't see or you don't listen to the video, let me know anytime so I can show you one more. Hello, everyone. Before you watch your video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened 
taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present and here we use these days, today or nowadays, and of course our verbs are is growing, shop and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time for no to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. Okay, what about this, this one? Do you see this one now? Esto sí se ve, pero lo anterior no se veía nada, teacher. Oh, yes, I will show you, I will show you in the next slide that, that grammar part, okay? That grammar part. I will show you uh, in the next slide that, that thing. Uh, we have some, some time expressions here that we use in the past. When you talk about the past, you can use these time expressions, like at that time, in the past, then. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years. Next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using... Okay. So, uh, what about this one? Do you see this one here? Uh, yes or no? More or less. Okay. Okay. Uh, ¿Quién no lo ve bien? Let me know. Like, do you see this thing? Se, se ve que sí, <laughs> más o menos, pero <laughs> okay. ahora sí. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So here we have some expressions. Again, we're talking about past, present, and future. That is the thing, right? Time contrast, okay? Uh, as you may know, during this process that you're learning English, you have different grammar contexts. And why we teach you that? Because you will use that in, in different as in areas, right? So if you want to talk about the future, you need to use one grammar part. If you want to talk about the present, you have different options to talk about it. If you want to talk about the past, you go with past tense, okay? With past is quite simple. Maybe you can have just past continuous or maybe you can have just past, right? Just go with past tense. With present is somehow kind of tricky because you have different options. You have verb to be, you have present continuous and you have simple present to talk about something, right? That is happening in the present, right? And you have with future, you can use models. Maybe you can use future with will. Or maybe you can use future with, I don't know, going to, if, if you want to talk about right? uh, that. So uh, in here, the idea is you make one sentence based on the, the beginning of, of the, let's say, the statement. As a child, I used to, as a child, I used to, and then you write something related to this context we're talking about. In the first one, are we talking about the present, the future, or the past? The past. past. Oh, we were talking about the past. So the sentence past. should be something about that you used to do in, like in the past, right? And then we have five years ago. Again, you need to identify if this is future or past. And then we have the past. expression. Exactly. Then we have the expression nowadays, I. Then we have next year, in five years, in 10 years. So you need to write examples based on this beginning. And you need to write like, and according to the things that you like did or you do or you are going to do, right? You need to write examples. Yes. So I'm gonna give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna give you seven minutes 
to make up sentences. And when you're ready, raise your hand so you can participate. Yep. Do you, do you understand at home? Alguien me trazó una línea, bro. Do you understand at home? Yes? Bridget, do you understand? More or less, teacher. Ok, ok. Me va a hacer una sentence por cada uno de los uh, beginning or time expressions that we have here. Si el time expression es acerca del past, so la sentence va a ser acerca del past tense. ¿Ya? Yeah? Si la, la time expression es acerca del present, me va a hacer una sentence about the present. If the time expression is about the future, you are going to make a sentence about the future. ¿Ya? Yeah? If you notice, all of them begins with I. So that means it's about you. Yeah. Something that you did, that you do, or that you are going to do. Bridget? That was... No, you get it? Are you the Melody? Explain. What are you going to do in this part? Please. Oh, vamos a hacer oraciones usando estas... Estas oraciones que él, él ha puesto, los vamos a complementar con algo que va relacionado, ¿no? Exacto. Eh, en la primera está ocupando el, el, el pasado. pasado. En la segunda también, eh, hace cinco, dice, hace cinco años yo. Y ahí está una en el presente que dice, no, days Y dice, hoy en día yo hago tal uh -huh. cosa. Y eh, las otras son futuros. Dice, en el próximo año, en, dentro de cinco años y dentro de diez años. Ajá. Ok, thank you. Perfect. Okay. Todas estas son time. Ahora en francés. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could, but I'm sorry, I don't have that. A ver, These, are, <laughs> these are time expressions. Time expressions that we use when we talk about different contracts, right? Time contracts, right? Uh, if you have a question at home or if you do not understand, let me know. Also, if you finish, raise your hand so you can uh, participate, right? Um, so I'm going to give you seven minutes to do this. Vilma, thank you so much, Vilma. Marvin, also, thank you. And also, Santiago, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. No, espérate, que quiero oír qué dijo. La regaste, Emerson, estaba bueno. Ya no me voy a concentrar, por supuesto. That's the attitude, right? That's the attitude. It was very good. Ali, that was very fast.
Uh, remember that when you get when you're ready with your sentences, just let me know. Raise your hand so you can participate. Thank you, Jaime. As, as a child, I used to have fun playing with little toys like animals, cars. I used to play in my garden. Five years ago, I was finishing my high school education. Nowadays, nowadays I'm working and studying. In in five years, I will I will be a professional. In ten years, I might I might speak English in an excellent way. Wonderful, perfect, Jaime. No mistakes on that. Alili, thank you. As a child, I used to, I was reading a book. Uh, five years ago, I was sitting, um, sitting my grandmother. Uh, no way dazed, I am learning English. Um, ne next year, I am going to, I will be finished my English class. Um, five years, I will be at my son's graduation university. Um, in 10 years, I might, I don't know where I'll be. Very good. Thank you so much. You have a few mistakes, Alili, um, because after the thing like, I'm going to, and then oh, you, say, you said, I'm going to, and then you say, I will. Okay, okay. So I next go, year, I'm going to the then finish the my English class. Exactly, exactly, okay. like that, like okay. that. Very okay. good. And just be careful with pronunciation. I used to, I used. I used to, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, very good. So with, with, the, with the ones, like the way you fix, I'm going to, that's the way you need to fix the best, okay? Um, okay, thank you. Another participation, that's you, Elvis. Thank you. Okay. As a child, I used to play soccer in the street with my friends. Five years ago, I don't have any car. Nowadays, I work more hours a day. Next year, I'm going to the beach in my vacation. In five years, I'll be in the USA working as Berber. In 10 years, I might have another child. Wonderful, wonderful. Just what you say, on the street, on the street. And on the street. With the past tense, you need to say, didn't. I didn't have a car. Yep. Okay, thank you. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, Anna, Cecilia, thank you. Okay. As a child, I used to visit my grandmother every Sunday. Five, five years ago, I go to buy bus at work. Nowadays, I wear a mask. Next year, I am going to travel to Guatemala. I fight in five years, I start my business. In 10 years, I might change the world. Very good. Just in, in this one, in the five years ago, I, I went. I went. You need to use okay. parts. I went. Okay. The rest is, is wonderful. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Morena Fuentes. Thank okay, you. Teacher. Thank you. Uh, number one, as a child, I used to sing many songs. Two, five years ago, I went to the impossible forest. Three, nowadays there are uh, fever trees. Um, Four. Next year, I'm going to Mexico. Five. In five years, I will change jobs. Six. In ten years, I me I me I live in another neighborhood. I might. I might live. I might exactly. live and with, in with... another. Uh -huh. Neighbor. Repeat, 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 teacher. In, sure, in ten, in ten years, I might I live in another neighbor. Neighborhood, hood. Neighborhood. Very good. And, and now what is? Can you repeat the now what I sent them, please? Okay. Nowadays there are fever trees and menos árboles. Quería poner yo. Okay, it's like less. Menos, menos. Less. Pronuncia menos. Less, less. 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 Entonces sería, nowadays there are less trees. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, let me see somebody else. Eduardo. Thank you, Eduardo. I go, teacher. As a child, I used to play with my spinning top. Spinning top is a trompo. Yes. Um, five years ago, I was getting ready to go for a walk with, with my children. Uh, no way, no, no way, no way days. I had every heavy day. Next year, next year, I'm going to have to have a new job. Five years, five years, five years from now, I will be in Chalatenango resting. In 10 years from now, I will be traveling to the Rio de Janeiro Carnaval. Oh, that's fantastic, Rio de Janeiro. That's my oh. dream as well, right? That's my dream. Being there, celebrating <laughs> that thing. That will be like, that's my dream. <laughs> it's quite the same. It's quite the same. Practice the samba. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, yeah. Like, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, Cecilia, thank you. Cecilia Romero, thank you. Okay, teacher. Number one, as a child, I use it to play Mika Fruit. Number two, five years ago, I, I played for my, for my American user. Number three, no, no wise, I plan to take a trip Number four, next year I am going 
to drive my car. Uh, number five, in five years, I will graduate from the uni university. Thank you so much. Very good. You have a few mistakes in pronunciation, like child, youth. Okay. Um, nowadays as well. Um, the grammar content is, is 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 very good. Okay. Great job. You got the grammar part. We just a few mistakes in pronunciation. Uh, that with practice you will overcome those. Okay. Um, the expressions below. This is the grammar content that we were watching in the video, which is about time constructs, right? Again, again, as I was talking, here we have the past, here we have the present, and here we have the future. In the past, you can use like the past tense, right? Or used to, right? Things that you used to do when you were little or when you were a child, right? Uh, the typical one that we talk about the past is past tense. So it's gonna be like, don't forget pronunciation with regular verbs in the grammar part with irregular verbs. With present, you can use present continuous like this one. You can use simple present like this one. Or in, also, you can use verb to be as well, right? With future, you can use will, you can use going to, or you can use some modal verbs, right? Uh, for possibilities in the future, right? So you can have these different aspects to talk about time contrast, right? So you can put in perspective something that you used to be in the past, something that you're in the present, and something uh, or like someone you will be in the future. Yeah, so you can talk about uh, this thing using this, this grammar uh, part. Um, let me show you another example. So you can practice a little bit more on this one. Um, this exercise that we have in here, right? in the box, we have different verbs, yeah? What are we going to do? We are going to use those verbs and we are going to use them according to the context we're talking in this dialogue, right? Yep, or in this paragraph, passage, let's say. We are going to use past, present, and the future. For example, in number one, we have go, right? That is the verb that we have, and we have it here. So we use used to go because the context is going to be about, look at this one, in the past. Right? In the past, people used to go to a different shop. So we need to figure it out. What is the context we're talking about in this passage? And to use the appropriate, let's say, um, time. Yeah, that could be the present, that could be the past, or that could be the future. Yes, you need to be careful with the context. Uh, Yes, do you understand how you will do this exercise? Bridget? Bridget? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, very good. Oh, Oscar, what is Oscar? Oscar, do you understand como hacer this exercise, Oscar? Santiago, do you understand how are you going to do this exercise? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. If somebody does not understand, let me know. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you, let's say five minutes so you can try to do it. And when you're ready, participation, raise your hand so you can participate on this one. Okay, uh, it, like in the passage, you will see uh, like keywords, like time expressions, so you can figure it out. What are we talking about? If we are talking about the past, if we're talking about like the present or the future. Yep.
Uh, when you finish, raise your hand so you can participate. Okay, when you're ready, raise your hand so you can participate. Puedo intentarlo y me corrijo si me equivoco. Wonderful, please go ahead. From the beginning. In, okay, in the past, people used to go to different shop for each time of time. For example, you buy meat at the butcher shop and fish at the fish market. Yes? Okay. So we have buy. You wrote, for example, you buy meat. Right. Mm -hmm. Buy. B-U-Y. Okay. Is buy? No. Oh, because you need to work with the context, Emerson. Okay. You need to work with... I with think it's bought. Exactly, Jose. Exactly. Because you need to work with the context. Um, if you notice here in the past, so we're working with in the past. You know, the context is in the past, Emerson. Okay. So this is this verb that we have here, which is by. You mentioned by, right? Yes. Emerson? Yes. That is a regular or irregular verb? Is a uh, irregular? Irregular, exactly. So you need to find out what is the past tense of by. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Help me. Oh, Jose, can you spell Boat. it, please? Boat. 
No. Okay, Jose, can you spell it? Yes, it's B O U G H T. I think. But that's, wonderful. that's correct. Yep. That is the one, um, Emerson. You got it? I got it. Perfect. Perfect. Continue, please. Me? Yes, you. Oh, okay. Um, um, a fruit market. Um, I sell, sería sell in pasado, verdad? I don't know. Just give it a try. Give it a try. Okay. A fruit market sell fruits and vegetables. Pero vender en pasado. No me lo recuerdo, teacher. That is regular or irregular verb? Irregular. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Now you need to find out what is it. So, hey, can you spell it, please, uh, Adeline? No, el verbo en pasado, sell in el te pasa, sell. Yeah, can you spell it? S O L D. D David, right? Very good. Yeah, that is correct. Porque why why pass, Adeli? Why pass? Uh this uh this I free the market um it siempre está hablando de pasado in the past. Exactly, exactly. It's because of the context. If you have it here, like from the beginning, we have in the past. So basically, you need to work with the past. Very good. Uh, Emerson, continue. Yes, teacher. For dry goods, lie, rice, or bean, you, you have to. No, you, you, sería you change, cambiar? Change. Change, o estoy equivocado, to go grocery store? I think it is, you have to, have to. Have to, have to. Have to ¿verdad? Yeah, the, the thing is that, is that is in present or in past, Emerson? In present. Yeah, what, what is the correct one, present or past? He keeps talking in past, so it has to. Oh, sí, 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 tiene razón. Exactly, exactly, Emerson. You need to find what is the what is the past tense of, of have. Have. Exactly, right? Very good, wonderful. Again, why Emerson? Because it's the context. So you need to like work with the context in, in this one, right? Thank you so yeah. much. I'm a kill. Perfect, thank you. No, just stay, just, just just leave it like that. Ana de Perez. Ana de Perez. Hello, teacher. Welcome. How are you? Hi, fine. That was great. Can you continue, please? Okay. Today, the supermarket or superstore uh, sell all these things once every week. Or do you people drive in their cars? to this whole store to buy everything, not only food, but also clothes, electronic goods, furniture, and medicine. But in the future, the way we shop um, Do you need help with that? Please. Oh, sure. Miguel Tejada. Can you help her, please? Oh, she's here. She's working here. In But in the future, uh, the way... Miguel? Miguel Tejada? Teacher, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's okay. No problem. We will help you. Okay. Karen de Garcia? I think it's Karen de Garcia, right? Yes. Okay, please. Can yes. you help them, please? Uh, sería Iba uh, nowadays, verdad? Many people. Uh, no, but in the future. Uh, but in the future. But in the future, in the future, the way we shop. 
Chain? Oh, yes, but the, the, what is the what is the one that you need to use? Uh, past, present, or future tense? Future. E exactly. The verb is correct. Change, but you need to do something. Change. Like changing. Change. No. Um, you need to use a future thing, a future auxiliary. Yep. Well. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Can we'll, you, can you we'll, say it? We'll change. Exactly. Like that. Very good. Wonderful. Thank Wonderful. you. Continue. Please. Karen, continue. Uh, they, uh, they said, yeah, uh, the show will change again. Again. Uh, nowadays, many people are computed at home. Uh, soon, maybe. Okay. No okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to use a verb here. A verb. Okay. Sí, mm. Very good. Yes, You're doing it very sir. good. Many people will will use. That's you, Emerson. No. No. Who was that? It's, it's the bird. The present. Yes, that is correct, mm -hmm. Emerson. You you said you, you said like we'll use, we'll use a computer at home. Very mm -hmm. good, very yes. good, exactly. Many people use. No teacher, but it's saying nowadays many people is in present. Oh. Yes, it is present. It's no way. Now, okay, no. nowadays. Uh -huh. <laughs> very good. Very good. Very good. Es para que veamos que estábamos yes. en la onda. Nowadays, only yeah. only no, use. Fija uno ustedes. Nowadays, very good. <laughs> Many very people good. have a computer. Mm -mm. Okay, can, can you do, do it, Emerson, nowadays? Entonces sería, eh, nowadays, many people use a computer at home. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Why? Because it's like you need to work with the uh, time expression. Very good. Continue. Karen or me? Oh, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Continue. Okay. Um, maybe no one mm. live. Maybe no one live home to go shopping. Everyone use use two day computers to order orders everything online. Okay, very good. Both of them are correct. Uh, however, I need to know is that that present or, or future or past? Um, like in this one, like in this one, like, like present. this is present. Or this is future. What is what is that? It's future. 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 Shopping. Uh -huh. Future. Oh, exactly. So, how oh, how how? What is the what is the future you are going to use? Will maybe will we'll live. use uh, no one. Aquí sería, maybe no one will live. Exactly. Very good. Continue. We live home to go shopping. Everyone uh, will use their computers to order everything online. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank Very you. good. Yep. You just like got the idea, right? You got the verbs, but the only thing you're sometimes missing is like the, 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 the thing like, for example, with future, the auxiliary that we use. That's will or, or maybe going to, depending on the context, right? Uh, very good. It's not a piece of cake, right? Don't have it's like just need to be careful with these time expressions. Nowadays, in the past, uh, maybe right soon, maybe uh, today. Just need to like be careful with that time expression. I need to take the attendance one Wait, more time. Cuando usamos nowadays? Oh, nowadays is for the present. 
es como decir ahora, pero en vez de decir right sí, now, sí. como now, ¿cuándo lo ocupamos? Sí. Uh, it's quite the same. It's quite the same. Like right now, nowadays. Nowadays, nowadays so, is in la actualidad. Oh, como hoy en día, exactly. Something oh, like okay. that. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Now, también es, también es about the, pres the present, like currently, right? Or in this time, right? Um, yeah, you can use like. Es como, otro, es como otro conector para decir algo en el presente. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Conector, Perfect. No. I need to take the items, just give me a Teacher, disculpe. Pudiera yeah. mandar este, por favor, esa paginita ya completa al, al chat para nosotros poder practicar. Completa, sí, creo que no le, se la puedo mandar. Sí, la puedo mandar. El ejercicio. Oh, ya Demasiado le pide al teacher. El futuro y presente, por favor. El, el ex es Gracias, ahorita... teacher, muy amable. Perfecto. Gracias. Perfect. Perfecto. El exercise ahorita se lo voy a enviar. Ok, pero si no se lo voy a poner completo. Eh, si quiere lo hace y yo se, pues, se lo reviso, me lo envía personal si quiere y yo con gusto le digo. De acuerdo. Gracias, de acuerdo. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. La lista, teacher. Oh, yes, give me a minute, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sending the image. Easy, man. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> ok, Lely, thank you. Hi, Hi my bad. You call me. Cecilia Rodriguez de Pérez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Cecilia de Romero. Oh, oh. Present, Ana Cecilia teacher. Romero de Dominguez. Ya me casó tres veces. I apologize, okay? Sometimes perfect people, we do mistakes, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Ana Yadira Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Bridget. I'm here, teacher. Yeah, thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Present teacher. Cesar. Edith. Present teacher. Eduardo. Present teacher. Elvis. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson. Hi. Stephanie. Fatima. Present. Jaime. I'm here. Jose. I'm Karen, here, teacher. Laura. Marvin. Miguel, Morena, Oscar, Raquel, Santiago, aquí, Vilma. Presente. And I think we're finished, right? Yeah. Presente. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Okay. Uh, it was my pleasure. Don't forget to practice your English. Okay. Uh, as many times as possible during the day. Let me check the chat really quick. Somebody said, thank you, Marvin. I got you here. Okay. Uh, enjoy your life. Be nice and be kind. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye, people. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night.